Welcome back, my oodles and noodles, to more Valheim. Valheim Turret Time, a casual Valheim Viking let's play that stemmed off of our zero death series. It was a little bit of a mouthful of a sentence to say, so forgive me. If you guys don't know, these Valheim episodes branch off of our zero death world that came before this. I'll group all of these videos up in the same playlist, so if you'd like to visit episode one of our zero death world, I'll go ahead and link that. But if you would also just like to start from zero, uh, episode one here, for a second, my wisp noise that it made when I came into the world, it kind of scared me for a second. But if you would just like to start from episode one of this series, that would be fine too. You'll just find that a lot of things have already been done. There are a lot of things we need to do. When I say this is a casual let's play, it, it is beyond casual. I promise I am no expert. We've since actually defeated all of the bosses leading up to Yagluth, even Yagluth included. So the only boss that we haven't killed yet, aside from the Ashlands update that's about to come out here is the queen. I haven't, so before this, before the last couple of episodes, I actually never, let's find where Haldor, I'm gonna go visit Haldor. Oh, right, I gotta go all the way back to my first base. Prior, prior to the last couple of episodes, I, I didn't, I'd, I'd actually never defeated Yagluth or the queen. I still haven't defeated the queen before. Oh, right. The merchant portal is actually over here. Uh, quickly, quickly for any new Vikings that are joining us today. This was our first like spawn point that we'd come into. This was kind of the base number one. And I've got tons of portals set up because in our zero death world, I was just of course, fighting not to die at all, but we've abandoned it, but um, still have this little mini portal room set up. <laughs> it's very roundabout. It's not very coordinated, but that's how my mind works. Defeating Yagluth for the first time was very difficult in itself. You guys mentioned that Haldor has some stuff for us here, some new stuff since we went to the Mistlands. 1,500 gold for a an egg? Damn you, Haldor. 1,500 gold for an egg? I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna be honest. 1,500 gold. Haldor is taking advantage of his customers, seeing as <laughs> there's clearly a, a supply and demand problem. I don't even know what chickens... It's a, it's a chicken egg, right? I didn't even think you could get chickens. Where am I even gonna put my chickens? Can I put my chickens in my base? Can they be in the meadows? I guess they could be in my little area right here, can't they? No, that's... No, we gotta find a place for them. Like right here? This would be a good spot to put chickens. I'll make like a, a little pen. We gotta first buy the eggs. I think I have enough. I don't know for certain. I think I can afford two eggs. Maybe, maybe. Should I build my pen then? Before, yeah, maybe I'll just get it going real quick. I have no idea what a chicken pen needs. Ooh. Oh, I can plant those gardens now from the mistlands. I didn't even think about that. Okay, I can't see anymore. <laughs> My chickens are gonna go right there, but I, I clearly can't see a goddamn thing. I'm thinking that this series is gonna go all the way until the Ashlands update, because by that point, I'm hoping that I've at least reached the queen and have attempted it. By that point, I'm hopeful that maybe she's already dead. And then we can actually start playing with like a challenge. So we could actually start a, like a new world with a new challenge. Do chickens need like a high fence? I can't imagine chickens would need anything more than just like a little tiny pen, right? I really don't want to buy all of these chickens. I guess these two chickens I'm gonna get and be a, like a loss. They couldn't get far though. What do chickens even eat? I think I'm a little out of my depth here. I mean, this is a little cute chicken pen, maybe. I mean, this is kind of cute, right? Little, little tiny chicken pen. I, I think it's pretty safe. Wait, I'm gonna look up what I need for chickens. I'm not about to waste all this gold. If they were a little less expensive, maybe I'd consider just trying it out on a whim. Chickens. Valheim. Oh, that's, I'm glad I looked this up. To obtain a chicken, an egg must be placed next to a fire or a heat source for 30 minutes. The egg must register as warm when hovered over. Eggs can be purchased from Haldor. Two fed hens can produce an egg. How do I feed them? Oh, you feed them seeds. That's perfect. I have been wondering what to do with the insane amount of seeds I have. Guys, look at the absolute ridiculousness of my chest here. I've got <laughs> birch seeds, be oh, sorry, beech seeds, and I have cones and carrot seeds, onion seeds, and turnip seeds. There's been so many times where I've thought about just ditching all of it, but I'm, I'm actually really glad I held on to all of it. So what do we need? We need to build like a little fire. What happens if the chickens hatch and they're, they don't like the fire? What happens then? I think this is good. This is, this is a very 
adorable pen. Okay, let's go get our chickens. I've never had chickens before. In this world, I didn't really bother too much. When it was zero death, I didn't bother too much to make everything fancy and to make big structures and to keep boars or, you know, I got locks. That's really all I got. I didn't really capture any wolves either. Just too much risk. Oh, I forgot. There was too much risk involved. I forgot my gold. Sometimes I think my mind is so fragmented. It's <laughs> a little ridiculous. Okay, third time's the charm. I don't have enough gold haldor buddy you gotta work with me do you think i could find more gold then i mean just real quick like kill some trolls go into some crypts pick up some thistles along the way they don't call it viking chores for nothing oh god you scared me this is the worst crypt i've ever seen i have never seen a worse crypt in my entire life it didn't have any circling cores and it like had one chest i feel ripped off oh here we go Trolls are a good source of uh, money, right? I need at least two hens. Otherwise, I won't get a uh, chicken and eggs. More eggs. More eggs for more chickens and feathers. It'll solve my feather feather problem. Into the troll cave. All right, how much gold do we have now? Not nearly enough still. So we just need 200 more gold or 1,500. All right, crypt number two. This one is definitely more promising. I hear a bunch of skeletons in here. And when there's a lot of skeletons, it usually means it's a bigger crypt. At least that's what I think. <laughs> but good thoughts, good thoughts. I can also pick up more sertling cores while I'm here. That's always really good. I tend to run out of more sertling cores than the average Viking. And I think it's because I just, the, the cave, Chaos that is my portals. It's insane. Yeah, this one's already proven to be so much better. Four circling cores. Uh, nearly there. I think if we were to sell the rubies and the amber and the pearls, we'd get to the 1500 gold pieces we needed. And we secured ourselves two more additional portals than I had before. Okay. I am out of here. Also, I gotta get some farming done today. I gotta make sure all my chores are attended to. I have to believe that what I have is enough because it's getting to be dark real fast. Oh, there is this crypt. Did I, did I explore this one? This one's marked on my map, but I don't know if I've fully explored it. No, I did not. Well, it's about to be explored. I think the amber pearls should have, they should be enough. How much do they give me? 110? Oh yeah, easily. I easily have what I need. But I mean, if I'm already here, I might as well get the certainly cores that I need. You can't go wrong with more portal supplies, especially with the way that I spend, por <laughs> at the rate at which I make portals, I'm fast to spend portal material. What the hell? Why are there feelings here? Uh, well, what? <laughs> Um, is there, there's no planes near here. Where did these guys come from? Is this a, is this a glitch in the matrix? What is going on here? Uh, I need to get my bearings real quick. What guys, there's no, there's no planes near here. Where did they come from? I, I, I certainly didn't lead them here. Is there any planes you can see on this map? Maybe there was like a sliver of planes and then they, I think this is a glitch in the matrix. Do they normally send out hunt, hunting parties? Did the developers of the game update the game like that? I am beyond confused. We got our eggs though. <laughs> we got our eggs. There's no more, no more need to be here. That is so weird. How did they get here? Me, I mean, I, all I could think of is one, if I, if I got raided there, but that wasn't, those three fuelings were like a search party. That was a search party fueling. I ne I've never been raided there. I got raided by the forest and I think by some trolls, but that's about it. That was very odd. How do I, do I just like set them down now? I don't want to accidentally do anything with them. Cannot grow in stack. Okay. If I put them in my hot key bar and I click on them, use egg on what? So maybe I separate them. So it's got to be like right next to the fire. This is so odd. Okay. I guess let's put it in our house. I don't like the idea of the chickens hatching in my house though. <laughs> All right. How, how's my egg doing? My egg is still too cold. All right. I'm doing something wrong. Oh, I see. I, I need, <laughs> I don't know why this turned into a chicken episode. <laughs> I, I'm like learning about, I keep, I, at first I typed in how to warm a chicken egg and then it started coming in with like a bunch of things about how to grow a chicken egg, a true chicken egg. <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, no, 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 I not a real chicken, an, a Valheim chicken. They need, they need to be like sheltered, which, you know, I guess makes sense, right? What are you, what are you doing in here? Get out. Time to build a shelter for my chickens so that they can freaking hatch. All of this fuss over some chickens. Okay, 
okay, this, this could work. It's not like the best looking um, pen I've ever seen, <laughs> but it's, it's kind of cute and our chickens could be really safe in here and under here it's all sheltered. All right, let's take a look and see if this works now. We'll put the fire here and then we'll put the chicken eggs right here, right? Right next to the fire. Yes success my chicken eggs are finally warm now we wait and they're in their own little pen that's way better constructed <laughs> than i would have thought and i can peer in on them look how cute this is okay this turned out better this design turned out way better than i had anticipated okay i'm pretty happy with it now we just need to actually make food because i am out of food again <laughs> maybe make some food and wait for my chickens to hatch I had gold here the whole time. I thought I had moved all my gold to that other chest. Well, certainly not the case, is it? Want to go buy more chickens? <laughs> uh, let's maybe hold off on buying chickens for now. Let's wait till the two that we currently have hatch. Make sure make sure we can actually handle the responsibility of chickens. In, in at the minimum, two chickens. And then I'll go buy more. That is... <laughs> See now, in the back of my head, I thought I remembered having so much more gold. But then I had bought all the I bought all the bait for the fishing pole, and then I was like, oh no, I, I think that I I did spend all my gold for some reason. All right, let's go see our locks. We'll see how they're doing. Clearly, I, that wasn't a needed adventure, I guess, but. I'm glad I still went and we got those sortling cores to begin with because again, portal material for me is like candy. I just, I, I gorge on it. I mean, my locks seem to be doing just fine. I think one day I'll, I'll make like a farm heim because it feels like a large part of this game is farming, you know, raising hens, raising boars, capturing wolves for meat and for, and for their hides, taming locks so that you can breed them and, and use them for food. Obviously after this series, this is our like casual let's play, but I was thinking about doing like a, like a challenge about like a Valheim challenge again, kind of like the zero death. I was thinking about leaning more towards like no map. I'm not sure how difficult I want the challenge to be. When I play games, I usually don't like there to be challenges unless it's a challenging game like Elden Ring, but adding that challenge made the series very, you know, grounded and that's what was really lovable about it even though we didn't really stick to the rules at the very beginning <laughs> that i had made up but even still another casual series we could probably do aside from challenge modes are like a like farmheim that would be kind of fun you know maybe i am kind of happy that i haven't like named my locks yet because the minute that i go to butcher them it's kind of sad to see like a big beast just slaughtered i should feel the same about like smaller animals but i don't it's just not the same i'm also like a big i'm a big dog person like a big dog meaning like big dogs not just like i am big on dogs but like i love big dogs and maybe that's what they remind me of just like really big dogs and you don't want to hurt a big dog right <sighs> i'm sorry sorry okay they're good now but i'm sorry i feel so bad i had to kill them i don't like doing it where do you have to plant the do we have to plant do we have to plant the jotun puffs and the mage caps in the mistlands i wonder i mean you have to plant plains biome stuff in the plains biome so it's pretty not it's not that far off to believe that you have to plant mistland stuff in the mistlands so more than likely how are our eggs how are they doing oh no I forgot. Mm, I probably should put the fire in a sheltered spot. Damn it. Don't die on me, eggs. Don't die. Don't worry. I got you. Okay. Okay, they're good now. I, I, I should have put it in here before. I don't want my chickens to get scared or sad when they hatch. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Oh my god. Stop it. I, I mean, I know it's not zero death anymore, but I'm sitting here like, dude, where did these freaking phantoms come from? Oh, they're wraiths. And they hit me hard. I, I'm out of food. I'm over here like trying to make food and <laughs> they're over here trying to kill me. Come on. They scared me half to death too. Oh my God. That was terrifying. My frame rates are dying. My frame, <laughs> the frames are dying. It's just so laggy right now. All the creatures of the swamp are like, hey, no, yeah, I wanna, I wanna come over and check out what's going on here. Yep, see, there it is. Droggers and oozes. Yep, there's the ooze. Okay, 
people look alive here we go let's just throw all this away i came in here to actually make food and got attacked by a million different creatures you know meal making is like a huge upkeep in this game okay i i i chefed it up i i was a fiend in the kitchen just a second ago so i forgot i could actually make sausage links so i made a ton of sausages it just seems like such an easy thing to make i also started making more oh i could probably make even more deer stew but i probably don't want to i don't know should i i just want to have like a bunch of different types of food on hand so that way just in case i i end up dying i can just pick something up i don't necessarily need all of this the, this different types of food i actually need to go <laughs> i need to go foraging for more mushrooms i need to get more blood bags again i need to go take a little trip back to base and make more onions also i probably should go around the base and put all the the torches back to light this is a chore in itself i bet you could go an entire episode just relighting all of the different torches you put around your base yeah this is this is this is a lot of maintenance i think i'll go around next time and just go around and relight everything but next time i really want to go back to the mistlands i don't have the right food though i still am missing some requirements so i'm thinking for chore time next time we should go gathering and farming and i want to learn how to make those wisp light torches so you guys said to start building in the mistlands i'm gonna need a special type of torch that can clear the way for me because i can't see very far with my little tiny wisp with sprinkles with by, by my side and i would have to agree i want to go back and i want to start building like the base that i would love problem is that i probably I, I should probably find a part in the mistlands that is close to like a trifecta like it's close to the plains it's close to the meadows it'll i i would want something that's like really close to all of the biomes and where i've currently got the portal set up is not an ideal place i might have to just build a temporary base and then set out to go find like a very permanent looking mistland space the world is our oyster so thank you so much for joining me on another episode of valheim short time stick around to find out what new chores we do and i'll see you vikings in the next episode. Mwah.